How did art originally become a part of your life? Um, art's been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. My mom was a home ec teacher and so she was always uh, very into sewing and so that was a big part of my life. So it was lots of different areas of art um, that I was involved with and my parents were always very encouraging of it and um, really supportive of you know any talent that I had with it. Tell me about the work you create. What makes it unique and where do you see it going in the future? Um, the work I create is mostly in fiber arts. Um, I would like to get into digitizing some of my own embroidery designs as well, and I'm actually taking some classes for that at um, Blows. So hopefully I'll get into um, selling some of my digitized designs as well. What is a piece or an accomplishment you are the most proud of? Oh my goodness, I've had some really fun pieces. I like the, the pieces that I've collaborated with other people on. Um, the shirt that I embroidered on that my mom sewed the entire blouse and it was worn in the Rose Bowl parade and then also in a parade for the Kentucky Derby too. Those were really fun projects. One of my newest projects was for a gal that was running for a rodeo queen pageant and there was Oh, probably about 12 hours of embroidery done on it and it turned out really pretty. So um, some of those collaborative efforts I really, really enjoy. If time and money were no object, what would you like to do with your art? Oh wow, I would probably paint more. Um, I really love to paint. I would have lots of really big canvases. I like to do large, large projects and I don't always have the space to do that. Um, so that's probably something that I would do more of. Why do you believe the arts are vital to the FM community? I feel like art just kind of gives that extra spark to a community. It um, just adds more zest and uh, it just, it makes things so much more fun. Uh, art is just a great outlet for so many people and I'm so glad that we have a really strong arts community in the Fargo-Moorhead area.